Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, let's start with uh, more numericals over here. And uh, okay, so as we start the numerical, this is a, a problem which is slightly different. If you look at it, this kind of a problem. Uh, In this problem, what they are saying is that locate uh, the centroid of an area. Okay, locate the centroid of an area, but here they have not uh, been giving us uh, uh, one function. There are two functions. One function for this uh, uh, arc or locus is y square equals to x, and this one it is equals to y is equals to x square. So we have got basically two loci. And uh, this is like this will be our curve. We can say this is our curve one, and uh, this will be our curve two. This is our curve two. Okay. So how to uh, calculate uh, the centroid will definitely lie within this uh, shaded area. Okay, as we know. And uh, again, remember the limits that they have given us. This is our origin. This point is our origin, and uh, the maximum limit on x is uh, zero to one, and the maximum limit on y is again zero to one. So how shall we proceed with these kinds of problems? They are more trickier uh, than the one we did in the previous uh, numerical one. Okay. So if you just look at it here, this is the same uh, leave uh, shaded area, and uh, if you look at this here, we have taken a, again a horizontal strip. It is our choice to take a horizontal, a uh, vertical strip. It's totally depending upon our choice. So if you look at it. There are basically. This is I. I told you, this will be our. This is our curve one, and we will say this is as curve two. This is curve two. This is curve one. Remember this thing very important. Okay, so the points that we will be having over here is going to be. Uh, one point here we can say just uh, for one of the points uh, this will be one point will be here on the curve one okay and this there will be one point over here okay on the curve two and the most important point is this one which is a uh, function of x tilde and y tilde okay and uh, the other thing that is over here with us is, uh, if you look at it, is uh, what will be the coordinates of this point? This will be from here to here. The distance will be uh, is basically x. Uh, you can say x one comma y. Okay, this distance will be x one comma, and the height from here to here will be y. And here, if you look at it, the distance will be x two, and this is going to be y. Okay, this distance will be x two. This distance will be from here, from here. If you look at it, the distance uh, from the distance from this point to this point is going to be y two. Distance from here. It's going to be y one, to be precisely speaking. But again, you we know this y one and this y two are same. So that is why we'll say that uh, x one comma y and x two comma y because they are the same. So y one equals to y two. We can say equals to y. But if you look at it uh, from uh, the y-axis, this distance is x one, and uh, the uh, the other distance on from curve two, it will be from here. To here, like from here to uh, from this point to this point, it is going to be x two. Okay, so y distances are constant and x distances are different. You can see, and uh, this centroidal distance again, since y uh, are constant, so we can also write that uh, y tilde will be equals to y. We can say that uh, this y tilde. Which is starting from here to the same height of y is going to be constant. So we can very easily deduce here that uh, uh, this 
y and y tilde are same y and y tilde are same we can say like over here if you go the, we have say, defined it that y tilde equals to y very important point now uh, the centroid of this coordinate what will be x tilde equals to if you look at it from the origin uh, we can say that this distance is basically how much from here to here it uh, this is our curve one so we will say x1 we want to reach here to this centroidal distance which is x tilde so it will be x1 from here to here x1 as defined here x1 plus this distance is x2 minus x1 and uh, since it is at the center so x2 uh, from here to x2 minus x1 divided by 2 you will be reaching here on x tilde so x tilde is what equals to x1 plus x2 minus x2 minus x1 upon 2 we are here so if we simplify we take the lcm and we simplify it we get uh, x tilde equals to x1 plus x2 by 2 and we will we can easily reduce as y tilde equals to why we already know that so we can say now as we have understood uh, the this uh, initial uh, element if is being explained to us very clearly so this was curve one this is curve two and for curve one we will say the the equation will be uh, y square equals to x1 and from here the equation will be y equals to x2 ka, x to the whole square okay and where we have explained it the strip area will be again very simple it will be uh, dy dy and this distance will be you can say x2 minus x1 which is the length x2 x2 minus x1 this is the length if you look at it this is the length x2 just wait uh, this is x2 minus x1 okay uh, so this is going to be the area uh, differential area which is dy the height and this is the length x2 minus x1 explained here okay i hope you understand it uh, x tilde already explained comes out to be x1 plus x2 by 2 y tilde is y now simple the coordinates will be x bar will be equals to integral of uh, x tilde da over da integral of da but what a, what is x tilde x tilde is nothing but equals to x2 plus x1 by 2 x2 plus x1 by 2 what is da da is x2 minus x1 times da x2 minus x1 times dy what is the limit on the y axis it will be from 0 to 1 because it is dy 0 to 1 if it is like 2 meter it would have been 2 meter here then we will write 0 to 2 but it's 0 to 1 what is da again is equals to da is x2 minus x1 times of dy okay now one thing is there that the integral is basically in uh, dy uh, so we cannot integrate because here we have the function as x2 x1 but we know it very clearly from here uh, one more thing is that uh, this this will be our curve one this is our curve one and uh, for curve one we have already defined it as uh, what we have designed this is curve 1 so x1 will be equals to uh, y square and this is curve 2 for curve 2 we can say that uh, x2 square equals to y so x2 will be equals to x2 will be equals to square root of y okay so this is we can very easily formulate here and uh, now we know that x1 is equals to y square so in this over here for we have, we have x1 here we have x1 here we will put the value which value y square what about x2 x2 is equals to square root of y or y to the power 1 by 2 so for all x2s we will put this value y to the power 1 by 2 over here in this function okay so uh, once we have we basically have formulated it and uh, we can basically go to the next which so x1 equals to y square and x2 equals to y to power 1 by 2 or square root of y so we put all these values over here uh, for x2 and x1 we put it so x bar comes out to be equals to uh, x bar comes out to be equals to 1 upon 2 0 to 1 y to power 1 plus y square into y to power square root minus y square dy if you look at this equation clearly it is going to be a plus b into a minus b if you look at it a plus b 
a minus b. So, it will be a square minus b square, we can write it as a square minus b square. So, it, it will be very easily uh, transformed into 1 upon 2 0 to 1 y minus y 4 to the power dy divided by 0 to 1 and y to the power 1 by 2 minus y square times of uh, dy. So, uh, this function is being formed. Now, how to integrate it since it is uh, we have the precise uh, limits being defined for this integration. It is definite integration. We can just open the, our calculator. You have all this simple, simple calculator in which integral function is defined. 0 to 1 y to the power minus 4 you can write it as uh, x minus x4 times of dx and just uh, basically what you do is you uh, integrate it and tell the calculator to do the job. And so once it is being done we will get uh, uh, an answer for this 1 upon 2 to the power point 3. And uh, for this again you can open the calculator and put this function over here in the calculator with limit 0 to 1 and the calculator will give you the answer 0.33. So, this is uh, uh, depending upon what type of calculator you have like you got Casio calculator, you have got Canon, Panasonic, whatever it is, Sanyo calculator, different types, they, but the approach is something like this. They have got some function over here if you look at it, uh, this will be uh, some function over here on which uh, you will basically be. Uh, basically, this will be integral function given over here and uh, you will be applying this with limits and you will be getting this answer as x bar is equals to 0 0.45 meter. Okay, So, this is uh, one problem that uh, we were then uh, uh, as have told us to calculate the centroid of area, but again the centroid of area comes out to be x bar equals to 0.45 meter and uh, with this, but uh, the problem is not complete here. Okay, This is just 50 percent of the job because if you look at it, he has said in the uh, in the numerical, uh, he, what is he said to us? Uh, he said uh, uh, you need to, if you look at it, you need to locate the centroid. So, but the centroid is not. So, when we say centroid, this is a very common mistake you do in the exams also. When he centroid, it me means it means x bar, comma y bar. Whenever comes a problem and he says x bar, comma y bar. But uh, he is not uh, saying as to calculate uh, x bar. We, so, this is half of the job done and we have to uh, again uh, formulate uh, the same problem, but uh, now we will be calculating y bar. Okay. So, in the next problem, we will shall approach how to solve uh, this problem to calculate uh, this uh, y bar. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, we shall uh, basically stop here and come again with a different numerical.